Hi, I'm John, and today I'm going to be talking about PhotoFlare software. It's a very simple image editing piece of software that I discovered through the Kubuntu Discover Store. And I don't think I would have found it any other way unless I was using a different operating system or using a different desktop like I have with KDE Plasma. So uh, that's my discovery process when it comes to Linux. I find new pieces of software that I didn't really know existed anywhere. And the good news is um, software like this is free. Of course, you can donate to people who develop it, and I think you should. Let's take a quick look at it. Uh, first off, uh, let's just talk about PhotoFlare. It, this is the, uh, the website, photoflare.io, and it's said to be a very simple but powerful cross-platform image editor. And it is. You can use it on Linux, Windows, Mac. Uh, I think it's really nice because you get the ability to do a fair amount of manipulation without having to learn something uh, like a higher-end program, whether it might be like a Photoshop type thing or a GIMP. Uh, even GIMP is as great as it is for Linux. It's... Uh, kind of a learning curve and it, it's not necessarily very intuitive um, so if you're doing just basic image editing then something like this would be great I used to use uh, something called a photo tool that's what it was called and uh, that's also great I think this one's a little bit quicker I think it's got a little bit more mojo behind it uh, I like a photo tool and I I have no problem using that, but I found this photo flare and I think it makes sense for me. Uh, Cross-platform, as mentioned before, a lot of great things. It says that it is inspired by the image editor currently only available on Microsoft Windows called Photo Filter. So um, somebody has, it's not a clone, uh, but somebody has done something similar to it. You know, I think a lot of the things that Microsoft came up with as far as the ease of use uh, and, and some of the ways that they went about things, you know, made some sense. I'll give them kudos for that. Uh, not much else uh, as far as the operating system, but some of their other uh, pieces of software that uh, people would use uh, would be, you know, really suitable for a lot of things. So let's take a look at uh, PhotoFlare. So this is it. This is PhotoFlare, and uh, you know you get this nice, clean workspace. Really easy. I'm going to take an old file, uh, Yosemite Valley floor, and uh, this is just a picture that I took when uh, we were out in Yosemite. Uh, and uh, nice thing about zooming in and out, you can just do it with your mouse wheel. And it just makes it really easy to zoom in and out as much as you want. Uh, so I like that right off the cuff. And it also has a drop-down menu up here where you can also change it that way if you want to. Uh, not the way I like to do it, but, you know, easy. So everything that's in the menu uh, with all these different... Uh, uh, file, edit, image, selection, adjust, filter, view, tools, and help is all, except for help, is all available down here in these icons. And so just about anything that you would want to do to adjust an image, uh, you could do it right from those, uh, those icons. You don't even need to go up to the menu. Uh, either way, it's extremely simple, and I really like it for some of the things that it does and and its simplicity that's the beauty of it uh, if you're just doing like say resizing an image like in this case I'll just hit control H because I know that's the image editing uh, resizing excuse me the resizing and say I wanted to make it uh, uh, just a second here I want to resize this image to 500 pixels it'll do that you know, no problem, and that's really great. I'll undo it there. Uh, just really simple, um, and for me, 
resizing of the images is the big thing because that seems to be what I have to do for, for the web, that type of thing. So it's going to be the biggest thing that I use. In fact, uh, just resizing images is, you know, just the best thing of all. <laughs> and it's so simple and clean. Uh, you also have the capability to have on the right side here, uh, you can also do some things like, not that you would do this, but a spray can. I mean, you could, you know, do these things that uh, a brush, you know, not that you would do that to your image, but it's definitely there. I'm going to close this and not save it and open it up again. So you can darken it and you can lighten it. There, I lightened it up a little bit just with the touch of a button. Very simple, very easy, and even the icons are very intuitive. Like you'll have your different tones, like uh, an old photography uh, tone. There you go. Very easy, very simple. Uh, black and white. In Yosemite, Ansel Adams. There you go. <laughs> Uh, but it really, uh, really makes it easy to adjust any kind of an image. And you've got some sharpen tools up here and some blur tools. This is the sharpen. This is the blur, I think. Yeah, soften. They call it soften. Uh, and then there's blur, sharpen, uh, reinforce. What is reinforce? What am I reinforcing? Oh, I think it really sharpens it up. Uh, there. Yeah, it did. And then you have things like your, uh, your canvas size, um, you know, just the image size. You've also got an icon for that right here for that resizing of the image. You can add text to it, uh, undo and redo. It just doesn't get any simpler than that. And that's what I really like about it. It's uh, as easy as it gets, and it seems to function really well on my Linux desktop. You could use this on Windows and Mac, of course. And I think it would make a lot of sense. Uh, so photoflare.io, and uh, you can get it there. Of course, I got it in the, uh, the software manager on my Kubuntu KDE desktop. So it's just one of those nice discoveries uh, and it takes you about 30 seconds to learn it. And in 30 seconds, you, you're doing something productive and going on from there. And that's really what I'm about. I, I don't like using software just because it's gee whiz and, boy, it's got all these other things that it can do. Uh, not into that. And one of the reasons why I don't use GIMP very much is because... It is fairly complex, and you can go through these tutorials online and learn everything there is to know about GIMP, but uh, it sure is a lot for an average user that's just wanting to uh, manipulate images, make them a little bit better. You know, if you've got some, some personal images like this, or if you're doing something for the web, if you're doing some designing, that type of thing, a tool like this just makes it real, uh, excuse me, simple and snappy. Um, it just doesn't get any better than that. So I really liking Photo Flare. This is my new um, image editor and one that I don't have to learn all sorts of different things. One of the other things I didn't like about GIMP was the fact that uh, you couldn't just do a save as to something like a PNG file or a JPG. You had to export it as that. It was kind of a pain, and it added a few steps, and I didn't like that. I've never liked that because, for me, it's all about resizing the image, cleaning it up, and uh, getting it out uh, and naming it. That That's really all it is when it comes to business, but when it comes to the personal stuff, you can do some... some uh, image improvements without having to go in and learn something that's really complex like GIMP. I think GIMP is great. I like it. But something like this will fit 
probably the other 90% of the people out there that aren't needing it for all sorts of really intricate image editing. I, you know, that's, that's for graphic people and that type of thing. But for the rest of us, it's, it's more than we need. And so having something like PhotoFlare is, is really a good choice. I, I hope you try it. It's, it's something that I really like and I'm gonna continue to use uh, just a real great uh, piece of software. Somebody got it right when they they did this, the way it's set up, how simple it is, and the workspace they give you. It's just nice. I, I can't think of anything better uh, for kind of this mid-range of image editing. So anyway, that's it for today. Uh, I'll be coming back again soon and... Uh, We'll talk about more software, maybe about something else. And uh, you have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.